Egypt is building something amazing, a brand new capital city from scratch. This project is not just about buildings and roads. It's about changing the future of the country. Cairo, Egypt's current capital, has become too crowded and noisy. With over 20 million people living there, it's hard to breathe, travel, or find peace. That's why the government decided to create a fresh start a modern, clean, and smart city where people can live and work with comfort. The new city is full of big dreams. It will have wide green spaces, smart technology, tall buildings, and smooth transport systems. From government offices and schools to homes and hospitals, everything is being planned carefully. This isn't just a construction project, it's a message that Egypt is ready to move forward with hope and confidence. Are you ready to explore one of the boldest projects in the world? Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on the bell icon so you never miss powerful stories like this. Let's uncover how Egypt is shaping its future starting now. Egypt is building a brand new capital city. This city is not just an expansion, it's a bold vision of the future. Located around 45 kilometers east of Cairo, this new administrative capital neck is meant to reduce the heavy burden on the overcrowded and polluted streets of Cairo. The new city will offer modern infrastructure, clean environments, smart systems, and open space, which are lacking in Cairo today. The project was first announced in 2015. Since then, it has become one of Egypt's biggest and most ambitious projects. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi hopes the city will become a symbol of a new, modern Egypt. It is being developed with the help of local and international companies, with the first phase already in progress. One of the most amazing parts of the new capital is its size. It will cover around 700 square kilometers, almost the size of Singapore. This makes it one of the largest planned cities in the world. It will have enough space for more than 6 million people, with room to grow up to 40 million in the future. The city will be divided into different zones. Each zone will serve a different purpose. There will be a government district with new ministries and a presidential palace. A business district with skyscrapers, including the tallest building in Africa. There will also be residential areas, international schools, hospitals, parks, and even a huge green space larger than New York's Central Park. One of the most iconic features of the city is the iconic tower. This is Africa's tallest skyscraper, standing at around 385 meters. The tower will be the heart of the financial district and will house offices, hotels, and restaurants. It shows the ambition of the project and how Egypt wants to compete on a global scale. Transport is another focus. The new city will be connected to Cairo and other cities through modern roads, electric trains, and even a new international airport. Egypt is also planning to build Africa's first monorail system here, which will help people travel across the capital quickly and easily. Another major element is technology. The new capital is being designed as a smart city. This means that everything from electricity and water to traffic and security will be controlled by high-tech systems. There will be smart traffic lights, underground fiber optic cables, and even an artificial intelligence system to monitor services and keep everything running smoothly. The city is also focused on being environmentally friendly. Solar panels will be used to power buildings. Large green areas will help improve air quality. Water recycling systems are being installed to reduce waste. All of this is designed to create a clean, sustainable city for the future. In addition to modern living, the government wants to create a strong sense of culture and identity in the new capital. That's why they are building cultural centers, museums, opera houses, and religious buildings. One of the largest mosques in the world, the Al Fatah Al Ali Mosque, is already complete. There's also a huge cathedral, the largest in the Middle East, showing unity between Egypt's Muslims and Christians. The financial side of the project is also interesting. The city is expected to cost around $58 billion. Much of the funding is coming from the sale of land, private investment, and partnerships with foreign companies. 
Some critics have raised concerns about the cost, especially with poverty still a major issue in many parts of Egypt. Despite the concerns, the government argues that this investment is important. Cairo is home to more than 20 million people and is becoming more crowded every year. Traffic is a nightmare, pollution is growing, and basic services are under pressure. The new capital is seen as a way to relieve this pressure and offer a better quality of life. Thousands of government employees are expected to move to the new capital soon. New ministry buildings are almost complete, and plans are in place to start transferring operations. The hope is that by moving the government, the city will start to grow naturally, and more people will be encouraged to move. Real estate developers have already built thousands of homes. These range from affordable apartments to luxury villas. Shopping malls, cinemas, and restaurants are also being built to make the city more attractive to families. There are also plans for universities and business hubs to create job opportunities for young people. Security is another major focus. The city will have a modern command center to monitor roads, emergency services, and government buildings. Facial recognition cameras and smart gates will be used to keep people safe. The goal is to create a secure environment where citizens can live without fear. One important point to mention is that the city is not only about buildings and technology. It's also about creating hope. Many Egyptians see this as a symbol of progress. A place where their children can grow up with better opportunities in cleaner, safer neighborhoods. It is also meant to help Egypt attract more international business and become a key player in Africa and the Middle East. The project has already attracted attention from around the world. Foreign media have covered it. International investors are watching it. Countries like China and the UAE have already shown interest in participating. Some are calling it Egypt's answer to Dubai a bold, modern city in the desert, built from scratch. Still, challenges remain. Critics say that the new capital could become a city for the rich, while poor Egyptians are left behind. Others worrying that moving the government far from Cairo may make it harder for ordinary people to access services. The government insists that this will not be the case and that housing and transport will be affordable. Time will tell whether the new capital will achieve all its goals. But one thing is certain it represents a new chapter in Egypt's story. A city rising from the desert. Build not just with concrete and glass, but with ambition, vision, and the hope of a better future. Egypt's new administrative capital stands as a powerful symbol of ambition and transformation. With state-of-the-art infrastructure, smart city technology, and bold architectural designs, it reflects Egypt's desire to create a modern identity while easing the burden on Cairo. This massive project is not just about buildings, it's about reshaping how people live, work, and connect in the heart of the Middle East. The, if completed as planned, the new capital could become a model for future cities across the world. If you found this story about Egypt's bold leap into the future inspiring, don't keep it to yourself. Like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on the world's biggest and most ambitious projects. Your support keeps us bringing you stories that matter.